Hey guys, welcome to another episode on Kind Spirit Tech. Now we are going to deal with one question that is quite common with everybody new to LaTeX. How to use different languages, how to use different kinds of uh, scripting and how to change scripting while you are working on single document. And basically there are two methods for that. Uh, one it's quite common and another one it's easy. I am going to show you both of those methods and which one you are going to use it's up to you. So in first method we are going to use package font encoding and we are going to set that to type 1 then use package input encoding set that to UTF 8 and finally use package Babel. Uh, Babel it's a package that is responsible for uh, different languages and we are going to use English, let's say German, uh, Arabic, Serbian Cyrillic and Spanish. Don't worry about these errors. So now first thing that I'm going to do select language and I'm going to choose English going to save this and I'm going to compile this PDF LaTeX test text compile this and open our presentation window yeah we have uh, our paragraph written in English and now I'm going to change uh, language to something else select language let's say German and now I'm going to open my browser and Google Translate I'm going to select German for translation okay and in English I'm going to write okay I'm doing this because of these uh, special characters in German. I would like to show you that everything works well for this language. I'm going to write this inside, save it. And of course, we have our paragraph written in German just fine. And let's say that I would like to use uh, Spanish now. So select language, Spanish. And I'm going to translate this very same sentence to Spanish. You see there are some special characters for uh, Spanish in here. This is good for testing purposes. Sorry. Paste this in here and save it. And yes, we have everything written in Spanish. And let's do it for Arabic right now. So I'm going to select Arabic, copy and of course select language and paste this, save it and we have our Arabic writings. Now, in uh, regards of uh, Serbian, Russian, Bulgarian or other languages that are using Cyrillic alphabet, you have to install one package to your system. I'm going to show you that right now. So 
So these packages in uh, text live are responsible for uh, some other scriptings. You see, we have a special package for uh, Chinese, special package for uh, Cyrillic that I have uh, installed, uh, then uh, language extra. This is one really important if you want to use those uh, exotic uh, kinds of uh, scriptings, then uh, Greek, Japanese and Korean. And for this purpose, I'm going to test only this Cyrillic one with Serbian language. Okay, let me translate that to Serbian. Okay, come on. I'm going to copy this to our code. Select language. Serbian C stands for Serbian Cyrillic, right, and save. And you see at the end we have uh, this uh, sentence written in Cyrillic alphabet. And now if you would like, uh, for example, to write something in Hebrew or in Sanskrit, uh, setting up those languages could be a little bit complicated. And now I'm going to show you one really easy way to do so. So just remove all of this, remove these packages except maybe input ENC. I'm going to keep that one. Okay. But now I would like to use package font spec and now for Hebrew set main font Okay, and I'm going to translate our sentence uh, to Hebrew, copy this, paste it inside. And uh, now keep in mind that when you use uh, this package, font spec, you cannot compile it with uh, PDF LaTeX. We have to use Lua LaTeX program. Uh, but I have to save this document first. So compile it again. Let me see what we have. And yes, we have our uh, sentence written in Hebrew. So now I'm going to test this method uh, with Sanskrit. Uh, and later on I'm going to describe you what is the difference between this one and previous one. So set set main font not and let's go to Google Translate. Translate all of this to Sanskrit, copy this, paste it inside, of course save and don't worry about this complaining, just compile everything with Lua LaTeX and refresh this window. And as you see, uh, we have everything written in both Hebrew and Sanskrit. So what is the difference between this method and previous one? So with previous method, we have actually been selecting different languages. But in this method, we are actually selecting different kind of scripting, different kind of fonts. So we have fonts for Arabic, for Hebrew, for uh, Sanskrit or whatever. So uh, basically, whatever font you have installed on your system, uh, you could uh, easily use it uh, with this method. So if you are using fonts pack uh, package, you are uh, actually using fonts for that particular language, not language itself. And that is why this method is superior to previous one. It's uh, less complicated, it's very easy. Any font that you have installed or that you could install on your computer, uh, you could actually use with LaTeX. So guys, I truly hope that you are going to find this uh, episode uh, useful. So if you like this content, please subscribe and see ya.